Andrew, it's been 18 months since I've visited JJ Hardy. You've been investing again, haven't you? Yeah, welcome back. It's good to see you. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been we're getting this new Akuma lathe, which is obviously a, bit, a big step in us. You know, I never thought the day we would, a small company like us would be able to afford to buy an Akuma. But what we've worked together with NCMT, and, and here we are. We've got a, a far better machine than, than, than the one that's replaced. And how have you found that journey? Obviously, Akuma, it's a brand that needs no introduction. How about, you know, the intro the machine being delivered, the training from NCMT? Yeah, it was really, really professional. They, they came out and did a site survey. I was allocated an engineer who's led the project. Any problems I've been in touch with him straight away, and we've developed the relationship really well. And have you bought this machine for new work or just to improve on existing work? What, what we've done, we're, we're all working in a very tight environment price-wise. We're, we're looking at fighting material costs going up. So we've put this machine in to help us bring the cycle times down. And the first job we did on it, we actually had a 26% saving, which is, uh, if we can do that for all the jobs in the factory, we'll be very, very, very pleased with that. So that's the reason for buying the machine, but what, you know, what is it you like about the machine? Obviously, it's a control you won't have used before, although it's similar to, you know, Fanuc, but you won't have used the control. So I'm interested to learn why you did go for Akuma. I went, I went down, had a, a display a demonstration of the, of the control, and, and even I, from afar understood how it, how it was going to be an improvement on what we had. We've had a week's training with the lads here now and they've just took to it so well. Um, it's got a, an expandable uh, options, of a, a suite of options. We can, we can get more out of the control as, as we learn how to use the machine as well. And you can hear in the background there's some very heavy, heavy milling on this job and it's doing it with no effort at all. No problem at all. Uh, we're just doing a, a little brass job on there at the minute. And uh, if every job in a factory was to run at the same rate that this job's running, that would be very, very, very pleased. Yeah, and that 26% saving, presumably that's down to harder cuts, you know, bit better feeds and speeds on your tooling. Yep, so what we did, we, we ran the, the part of the same uh, as the previous machine. We analysed the programme, in, improved the depth of cut, and we really got the feed rate up as well. Um, going forward, we're looking at getting some bigger tooling. This is a 25 section. Um, outside diameter uh, tooling and we're looking at getting some bigger depths of cuts and in fact I've got someone coming to see me tomorrow about that. And obviously you've talked about the integration with the bar feet and the filter mesh units, yep. this machine's dropped in and you've had no issues whatsoever? No issues whatsoever. The filter mesh unit is something going forward I think all machines will be um, fitted with and again our long term relationship with Hydrofeed, we've just got another good bar feed, you know it really is superb. One of, the, one of the nice options with the bar feed is you, you program the bar size and that might save you 10 minutes on, 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 a, on, a, on, a, on a job changeover. Hundreds of jobs a year, that's a lot of minutes we can save. So the first thing you notice when you open the door is how big the box guideways are? Yeah, so it's uh, proper, proper guys on the, uh, the X and the Z. Um, I think the tail stock actually runs on linear, linear guides, but the cutting is on proper boxways. And I know the milling, you know, it's 12 station tow it, all drivable with milling, but the milling heads are huge. Yeah, we've got um, 12 stations, uh, 40 VDI, all stations are um, driven. And, you know, I think we've got a 50 diameter cutter run in there. It's, it's worked really well. And is that where this 26% saving comes from? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We, 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 we managed to get our depth of cup up and we, we drove the driven tool in a lot harder on that as well. And what, what's the, uh, the spindle bore capacity? Um, I think this 80 through the spindle, by the time we've got a spindle liner and the collet chuck on, I think we're down to 65. We could probably get 70 through the, the three jaw chuck, but we very rarely bar feed anything above 70 millimetres. So again, just to conclude, the journey with NTMT, you know, it's been a good experience? Yeah, it's been great. We've had a real good experience up now and um, I look forward to doing a lot more business with them.